What's going on, Gemini Knights? It's your boy, Gem Mint, and as you can see, we have a new Maju case display behind me. We're going to talk about the specifics of the Maju case, get close up on it, look at some of the finer details, and we're going to fill it up with statues. Before we do that, check out the giveaway we got going on. We are on phase three of our 100K giveaway. We're going to be giving away three prizes once we hit 97,500 subscribers. The first place is going to win this X-Men 4 CGC 9.8, the first appearance of Omega Red. Second place is going to get this huge oversized Marvel's hardcover with incredible artwork by Alex Ross. And third place is going to win this set of the boys soft cover omnibus, which wasn't claimed from one of our earlier giveaways. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and stay tuned to the end of the video for more details on how to enter. Alright guys, so if you have seen my legendary display video, like right in the beginning of that video, I talk about how I wasn't really a fan of Maju cases, and I wasn't. But when I posted that video, uh, the Facebook group started sharing a lot of Maju case displays with me to say, hey Jem, they're not dark inside, there's different options you can get. As you can see, we have the white boards, which we'll look at a little bit closer. Uh, and I realized that it was maybe just some people's displays I was looking at that threw me off. So I decided to go with the Maju case. What made me drop the money on this is that I was looking into custom shelving, which as you guys know can be very expensive, and I was having a hard time even finding a contractor that would be reliable to come and give me a quote. So I ended up working with Maju Case and we got some custom Maju Cases made. These are not ones that you could buy right off the site. They have specific measurements, uh, which we'll go over, and the price tag on these is $520 per cube. So we have eight cubes, which is how this ended up becoming pretty expensive. Uh, the shipping was about $600 as well from Singapore. It shipped in nine packages, eight big ones that have a cube in each, and then a, a thinner one that had the lighting mechanisms and such. So about $5,000 is what this would retail for. We're gonna go ahead and take a look closely at the Maja cases, and then we're gonna start putting some statues in this bad boy and fill her up. All right, so let's take a closer look at these guys. So these measure 31 inches deep, 43 and a half inches tall, and 34 inches wide. So I really had these designed with one third scale pieces in mind, and for my quarter scale berserk pieces that have like super tall swords sticking up, and it was just hard to, to fit them in my regular displays. So they do all have acrylic covers that are magnetized. I'll show you guys real quick how that works. So basically, they all have covers on the front. Uh, they don't have any separation in between cubes on the inside, but we do have acrylic on the sides. So basically, um, this will prevent a lot of dust from getting in there. Let's take a look at the uh, inside real quick. All right, so like I said, it has a white board on the back, which I really like because I feel like that helps bounce the light off. And speaking of the light, each cube has a LED strip on it and a clever system to hide the wires on those beams up there. So uh, what we found was that two strips worked best on one power supply. Once you started putting a third in there, uh, we started seeing dimming. So we have two power supplies going to this outlet on a surge protector and then we have uh, two others over there so for all eight cubes um this right here has got like this kind of like faux white leather cover over a wood board and they sit on top of the metal frames and i think that's the difference with maju cases over like making your own display these are all metal frames it has this kind of like locking system that uh, gives it obviously uh, an extreme level of sturdiness. I don't think I could have personally built something like this out of wood. I'm not handy. Uh, I, I don't trust that I would build it so that it would hold enough weight. So uh, that's why we decided to just go ahead and buy the Maji cases. All right, so I think that is everything for uh, the empty cases. Let's start filling these bad boys up.
guys we have pieces in the magic cages i gotta tell you from the screen on the camera it doesn't look too impressive but in person it's massive it looks super clean and i'm really getting to enjoy my berserk pieces like i had never had before where they were in my room they weren't really well lit now that they're in here i have like a even more appreciation for them so the setup is temporary let me, let's get the side view. So it's a temporary setup. I, I don't think I'm gonna collect the Arkham Knight line anymore from Prime One. This thing might turn into a whole Berserk display, which is kind of crazy to think it's a whole display dedicated to Berserk. But man, I love the series and Prime One did an awesome job with their statues. And there's a lot coming out. Slan, Void, Conrad. They have a new... Uh, Guts coming out, they have Skull Knight, Skull Knight on Horse, uh, Shirky, is that how you say her name? So I don't know, I, I might get rid of the uh, Prime 1 line. I'm definitely keeping the Dark Knight 3 Batman and I have Superman coming in right now. And I have Nosferatu Zod in Apostle form coming right now, which he won't even fit in here, man. He, his depth is too deep for it. So I think we're gonna put like a little display to the left or something for Zod. Anyway, uh, overall, happy with the Mazda cases. Yeah, it's an expensive route. No, I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself. I'm not handy enough. I don't have the patience or the time to even dedicate myself to a project like that. So these came out great. The only problem is now I kind of want some more. <laughs> Let's get one more angle over here. But it's a huge display, guys. All right, and like I said, uh, we're having a giveaway that's going on right now. Here, check out the details. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this video, and comment below. Once we hit 97,500 subscribers, we're going to pick a random video where I promoted this giveaway and draw a winner based on a YouTube random comment generator during one of our live streams. You'll be able to tell when the winner is drawn because the live stream will say the subscriber number and giveaway in the title so make sure that you're subscribed leave a like and a comment and good luck all right guys as always thank you for watching make sure to check out my other playlist for my statue unboxings my omnibus hauls and my new comic book day reviews stay minty fresh peace